we will continue looking at finding an odd or even number using the modulus operator. Now in the previous video, we've actually uh, used the modulus to find out if the remainder was equal to zero. Then we know that that number is divisible by two and then there is no remainder. So we know it's an even number. Otherwise we know it's odd. In this video, I'm just going to change a few things around. Instead of looking at if that value is equal to zero, I'm going to use the expression of this, the Boolean expression or the Boolean result of this expression. If this is true or false. So uh, remember, um, zero is false and one is true. So if the resulting Boolean expression from this is is um, is one, then that's actually true. If it's true, then we know it's an odd number. Otherwise, it's an even number. And so the same thing happens here. So let me just get rid of these comments from the previous video. So the same thing goes for this one. If there is a remainder, then it's one. That's going to give us true. If this expression is true, that's actually an odd number. If the expression is false, so else if it's false, that means it's a zero, then that's an odd, that's an even number. So the program will work pretty much the same. We've just changed the concept. We just looked at that value, or we looked at the expression, the Boolean result of that expression. Another thing that I thought I'll do is, um, remember this function over here prints out a value. So the, that function can be called with its name and passing the value. But because this function returns a value, which is a result in this case, that's going to be a string. Then we had to capture it in a print statement. Alter alternatively, we can put the results of calling that function in a variable, which I'm calling result, and then just printing out that value. So again, it's going to work pretty much the same. It's just a, just a bit of a difference. I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.